A Port Charlotte family's recent trouble with health care coverage shows how families can end up falling between the cracks through no fault of their own at a time when they need the coverage the most. Tonight, SNN's Lena Vargas introduces us to this family that really does need some help. Before a heart attack caused by a blood clot three years ago, Manny Galan played several instruments and did what most middle school students did. But now the Northport High School student is confined to a wheelchair, unable to speak or move very much. This is a kid that needs constant care. He has a feeding tube, like I said. Now he and his family face a new challenge. His mom says Medicaid dropped his coverage, including the money that pays for his at-school nurse. Without the nurse, he cannot go to school and I cannot go to work. Worst case scenario, I might have to quit my job and take care of my son, which I tried not to do that because we need the support in the family. His mom explains that on paper, she no longer qualifies for Medicaid because of an $18,000 loan from a family friend, specifically for a down payment on a house. When all this happened, unfortunately, we lost our house. And because of that, we do not qualify for a conventional loan. Uh, I'm renting the house. I cannot do any modification. And Manny needs a lot of care. And it's very difficult to manage him in the house that doesn't have a modified bathroom mainly. The family paid the $1,000 a week for the nurse for the last few weeks, but Millie says she doesn't know what will happen on Monday. I don't think it's fair that we are in this situation without any advance notice. And I have tried numerous times to get in touch with Medicaid. Florida's kid care program may be able to fill the gap, but an answer may not come soon enough. So now, nothing has happened. Many have no coverage. And we are in a very, very desperate situation. Lena Vargas, SNN Local News. Well, Manny's mom tells us there is another wrinkle to her efforts to get her son health care coverage. Government workers have advised her to try the new Obamacare health exchanges. But because of all the glitches at its launch, she doesn't expect she can actually even get coverage as soon as she'll need it.